Dream Journal Entry March 8, 2024 You stare down at yourself, a jarring image in the stainless steel reflection of the toaster oven. Gone are your familiar dreadlocks and beard, replaced by a shock of straight, blonde hair framing a cartoonish face. You're a white swordsman, and across the kitchen counter, your friend Aiden regards you with amusement. The kitchen itself feels oddly familiar, yet tinged with the impossible. White tile walls gleam under a soft, perpetual twilight, and a clunky landline phone rests on the wall like a forgotten relic. You pick it up, the weight strangely comforting in your hand. This phone, you know instinctively, can bridge worlds. Cake? Aiden asks, his voice tinged with a mischievous grin. The craving hits you like a warm summer breeze. You dial a number that appears in your mind's eye, the phone a flimsy bridge to another reality. A voice answers, light and airy. You explain your predicament, a sudden hankering for cake, to a woman, a princess, who sounds suspiciously like a slightly higher-pitched version of you. Disappointment washes over you as she apologetically declines, her world a whirlwind of activity where pastries come alive to serve a fantastical kingdom. Just as you resign yourselves to a cakeless day, a mysterious mist crackles around the princess. Three goblin-like figures materialize in business suits, their voices booming. They deliver a message, an invitation to a royal baking competition, a prestigious honor bestowed upon her. The mist clears, revealing the princess in a wedding dress, a stark contrast to her flower-dusted apron from moments before. Her voice, laced with newfound excitement, assures you she'll bake something spectacular. But the phone clatters to the counter as confusion clouds your dream. Was that promise meant for you and Aiden, or the goblin messengers? Aiden, ever the pragmatist, suggests a bold solution, a journey to this other world to witness the culinary chaos firsthand. Your heart thrums with anticipation, but the insistent blare of an alarm rips you from the dream. Frustration lingers as you jolt awake, the unfinished adventure hanging heavy in your mind. The experience leaves you with a strange sense of familiarity, a feeling you've wandered into a forgotten episode of Adventure Time. Yet, beneath the whimsy, a deeper question stirs, what was this dream really about?